Hey there everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. Three balls left to do on this uh, monkey bowling challenge excursion extravaganza here. And until I finish the mode here, I'm not expecting to get any more points except maybe this one. So I'm just going to give this one a shot until I get it, or if I even get it. I need more spin than that to get that pin, to get the 10 pin. I need to bounce pin over. Oh man, that was horrible. One more try and that'll be it for monkey bowling. So let's just uh, do our best. Oh god, this is gonna be horrendous. I need to cut the pins now from the right side angle. Ugh. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> yes, it was a sneeze. Pardon me. Okay, that about does it for monkey bowling. And I only got five patterns cleared. I got second place for that. Come on, why am I getting these freaking ranks? You know what? I'm tired of putting my name in. I'm just gonna put PK. That's, that'll be a lot faster, and it'll still, uh, you know, be recognized as being the Justin. PK Gam is, you know, kind of my signature, if you didn't notice that. So, uh, that ends that. Woo! <sighs> and let's go to the next one. Um, what is the next game? Oh, Monkey Golf 2. This is gonna take me a little while to do here. Um, stroke play, it's, it's uh, you can either do stroke play or match play. Match play and stroke play are basically the same, except for you're playing against the computer in match play, but I want to show off all the holes. So I'm going to do stroke play. Um, I'm going to do all 18, like, like that, and there we go. Let's start the game. This is golf on crack. It is so easy to fall off. It, th this is nothing like Mario Golf. It's... Uh, I would definitely take Mario Golf over this, no doubt. I'll press the X button over there to uh, to determine where you want to shoot, and then you can see, like, on the ball there, you've seen I just chose, or I moved that little cursor there. That will determine the spin that you put on the ball. Um, you can tell your balls lie by looking at those, that little blue up and down arrow, the blue and red up and down arrow, arrow there. And that looks good to hit the green there. So I'm just going to hit the ball like so. And hopefully it won't go too far. Maybe I should have put some backspin on that. I don't know. Down is backspin. Forward is forward spin. That was too much. Um, maybe that's okay. Nah, yeah, that was okay. I'll just putt from there. I don't. I think I'm on the green. Uh, unless they give me a chip. Yeah, it's giving me a sandwich. Uh, but I'll take the putter. Thank you very much. 150 feet. Um, I have to do a little calculation. 11.9 yards is equivalent to... Wait, wait. I want to... Can I change the putter speed? I can't change the putter speed. Really? Alright, I'll just use the sandwich. Because that's kind of... That's really precise. Because that's about... <clears throat> 34 feet there. So... Wait, wait. 36 feet. Excuse me, so I don't really want to really want to risk that. So let's go for the chip shot here. Just like point, point. Oh shoot. Well, at least I'll be on the green, decently close to the hole. And let's. Now you got this grid here that you can use for putting. And can I change my putter speed now? No, I. I seriously can't change my putter speed. I can check the score at the Z button. Oh, come on, really? I, oh, it's up and down to change your putter speed. Okay, I'm just being an idiot now. Aim towards the hole, calculate your speed by using those notches on the, the power meter, and just get it in the hole. And just use the grid, or that, the, 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 whatever you want to call it, the checkerboard, to determine where the um, brakes are on the green. It's a lot harder to tell than on a Mario Golf game. Just saying that right now, this is not Mario Golf, that's for sure. So let's aim right about there, and just power the sucker all the way over to the fairway. Hopefully. Uh, there's bunkers, bunkers for some reason, despite uh, you're hitting yourself inside the ball. Uh, they do indeed slow you, or I should say give you less power. So, as so does the rough, and... Uh, there's no water, there's just a lot of out-of-bounds. So I don't recommend that uh, you go out-of-bounds, because you'll have to hit your shot over, and I guarantee you do not want to hit your shot over, because you'll have to keep hitting that shot over and over again, and you'll often run out of shots. I don't think I ever got under power on this golf game. I'm serious. Never. It's just, 
that freaking unfair. And I need to switch my putter speed. Nine, 90 sounds good. Um, I'm going to hit it about here. And I think that's going to be maybe a bit too much. No, that's good, actually. That's a big freaking hole, I have to say. Woo, birdie! Next hole, par 5. Oh, I should also say... Oh, I should also adjust my camera. Whoopsie doodle. It's not very centered. <laughs> um, the... The powers basically encourage you to get get it in the hole within that, min that many strokes. Um, but on later ones, the chance of you doing that is extremely slim. I'm just saying that to you right now, so don't feel bad if you play horribly. Because this is going to get incredibly difficult. Um, I am, I'm explaining way too many things here, um, I have to say, so I'm just going to start clicking through this a lot quicker because I'm going to be spending 80 days and 80 nights just playing golf here, so let's try and get this in one to two parts because I don't want to kind of bore you uh, golf haters out there with uh, monkey ball golf here, I, and I would like to uh, progress, progress through, through this game. Uh, and not just be stuck on mini games. So let's just hit all the way. Oh, that's not gonna be nearly enough, enough speed. I think I'll be able to get the birdie anyway. Uh, that last pot was for eagle. Uh, one under par is birdie. Two under par is an eagle. Uh, um, three under par is an albatross. Par is, or I should say, zero is par. I should say, equal to number is par. Um, you know, it's not one over, it's not one under, it's just par. Um, one over is a bogey, two over, double bogey, three over, triple bogey, etc., etc. Just giving you, you some golf terminology there. I don't know why, it's just what I do. Um, just talking for no reason whatsoever, I guess, when it comes to this. And I gotta say, who builds a golf course this high into the sky? And, oh shoot, I should have gave myself a little more running room there. I'm in the deep rough. Um, that was quite below uh, where I was uh, sitting, so I should have hit with less power, or I should have gave myself some spin, but no, I had to play like a doofus, but whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa wait, looking good. Oh, so close. Almost chipped it in on the fly. Actually, I think if you hit it and you bounce out at such an angle like that, um, it won't, it's like you won't stay in. Uh, that, that, that's just what I think. I, I, I don't think you'll stay in if you accidentally hit, or I should say hit in on the fly. The chances of you staying in is extremely low. That's what I'm trying to say here. Um, so I'll just make this putt and go on to the next hole. Okay, continuing on to the next hole. Uh, I just had to um, reset the camera there for a second. I, I, don't know, I wanted to make sure I wouldn't lose any footage or anything like that. I've, I've been recording for quite a while now. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. I'm one under par, and, uh, let's go. Uh, I think I'll hit my ball right there. That looks like a good spot to hit. And max power if I can, so I don't fall into the bunker, but I think I'm gonna end up in the bunker anyway. Uh... Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. Actually, that was way overkill. So what the heck... What the heck do they mean by that landing cursor there? If, if max power isn't that landing cursor, it seemed to go further than, than the cursor there. So I don't know what the poop that was. Oh, I just hit it maximum power there. Maybe I should have put backspin. I don't know. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for another birdie. Because I'm going to need them for the harder, later stages. That are pretty much going to break me. Yay! Okay, so let's do a little chippy chip shot here and drink. This should be right near the hole at that kind of power. I just did a little, oh, no, okay, maybe that wasn't that good. Uh, I just, my calculations were either off or this game just sucks. I'm, I'm going with the latter <laughs> on that one. I mean, the physics are okay. It, 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 it's just that, I, I don't know, it, it just doesn't seem to work right. Like, you, you calculate something to be something, and it doesn't go that way. Like, you can calculate the wind there, and it just won't go right. Like, you expect it to go um, a little bit further than that cursor, but it goes so much further than that cursor, and sometimes it doesn't go as far, or sometimes you get so much roll. I, I don't know, it's just... I'm not a fan of this golf, to be honest. <laughs> 
I, I guess it's because it, it's just nearly impossible to be consistent at it. That's what I'm trying to say here. Um, I'm going to hope that I don't hit that too far. I probably did, just because that's how this game works. Um, no, that did okay. Uh, as you can see, the hole is like in some sort of depression of some sort. It's like, you know, it's inwards, and then it goes back up towards the hole. It's like there's a hump of some sort there. Um, this should be okay if I aim it like that. No, 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 no. A little more power there, okay. Now let's see if I can get it in. Oh, I should add that the original Mario Golf... <laughs> the original Mario Golf... The original Monkey Golf was uh, Mini Golf. You were just putting. This is full, full-scale full Monkey Golf. It's... Par 4 is 5s and 3s in, mar in golf scale like Mario Golf. If you remember my ma <clears throat> my Mario Golf walkthrough. I love golf a lot, but eh, some golf games are just... Eh. <laughs> you know, it's, it's got to be the right combination of golf. You know, it's... I say it's gotta it's gotta play right for for it to be enjoyable. It's gotta gotta give you a good experience for me to like the golf game because otherwise it, otherwise golf is golf really. So uh, it's a par five, so it's unlikely I'm gonna get on the green in two. So I'm just gonna aim for the fairway there. And uh, par fives, you typically get on the green in three. Uh, by the way, I should add that that pink area next to the um, the second clicking area... Oh, I actually got on the green. See, that's what I mean. How the heck did I do that? I don't get it. Um, the second clicking area there, if is it's smaller depending on where your ball is lying and uh, which club you're using. Like, if you're using a driver out of the rough, you aren't going to have very good results out of that unless you're really precise. Because if you miss hit out of that pink area, you, what's going to happen is that you're going to miss hit the shot and the ball's going to go wherever the heck it pleases. And you don't want that to happen. Um, let's try it there for 34. Uh, there we go, birdie. Woo! The first nine is not bad at all. When it gets to the back nine, that's when things start to get horrible. I I'm serious. It's, it's not good. Um... Like, this this is where it starts getting a little hard right now is the 8th hole, but it's it's nothing compared to the last last 9. And the last 9 is what is going to make me go over par. I'm going to hit out of bounds, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. Well, that was decent then. So, I'll probably get it in 3. I'll just hit it like that. Hope I get near the hole. 12.6 yards away. Ooh, that's way too much. Oh, crappers. Oh, uh, I'm gonna bogey this one. Oh, yes I am. Look how high that green is, by the way. That is a very, very hard place to hit on top of, because if you hit too short, you're gonna end up short of the hole. Greatly short of the hole, I should add. If you hit too long, you're gonna fly off the green, like I did on my first approach shot to the green. Well, technically, that was my second approach shot, because my first approach shot was trying to get on the green. Oh, well. Next hole is the ninth. Par four. Let's do this. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this one goes back to being an easy hole, like so. There, You pretty much won't go out of bounds on this one ever. <laughs> Just saying. Unless you deliberately aim yourself to go out of bounds. But that's kind of like the other holes, actually. Um, I think that about does it for this part, so I'll see you guys in the next part.